Thank you, uh, Master of Ceremonies, who is doing an excellent job. Give him a round of applause, Mr. Doar. Thank you so very much. The Honorable Earl Asim Martin, our Deputy Prime Minister, Permanent Secretary Newton, and Permanent Secretary Sharon Rattan, the Brenda family, Jean Nisbet Body, or Principal of Irish Town Primary School. Put your hands together for Miss Body. She's also from this area and doing a wonderful job at Irish Town. I want to also acknowledge Mr. Penny, who prayed for us, Mr. Tatum, the leaders who are here visiting, visiting persons. Good afternoon to you. I want to thank all of those persons who helped to make sure that this event took place and did all of the cleaning up and so on this morning. I want to thank Lady Laville. Thank you so much for all of your assistance. Tuba, I see you sitting behind there. Thanks for your assistance. Sun and Tigers and Mr. Lake and the other lady who was voluntarily cleaning this morning. We want to put our hands together for them to clean up the area. And Sun did a little painting job here just this afternoon. And Oh, Sun and Tigers. Sun and Tigers. Did that. Okay. <laughs> Leroy Pringle, please. <laughs> I want to recognize Miss David, who is a, like I said, the only surviving member only from that old crew. Miss David, good afternoon to you. I recognize who we call Teacher Annie. She's here to perform a special role today. Teacher Annie said she was born right in that house. Right here. And she was also one of the teachers of the school, primary school there. Put your hands together for Teacher Annie. I also want to recognize Miss Azilla Clark, our Director of Community Services, and recognize the wives of the Morrises behind there, who are part of the Brenda clan, and Patrice Ward, Teacher Annie's son. I want to also recognize a very young man who is here visiting. His name is Hamil Basu, better known as Woogie. Woogie, could just stand up and give us the... He's also from the area. Fantastic basketballer and sportsman visiting with us. All of the children from the Irish Town Primary School. But what about those two who sang so beautifully the national anthem? Special thanks to them. And of course... We can't forget the old Stabby, who always faithful like the Northern Stars. Stabby, thank you. Always there. And Colbert, who is doing a fantastic job with Spurs and all the other youngsters around here. Right. Demi, good afternoon. Also, we have Jeffrey, Mr. Jeffrey Hanley. They say he's a big preacher in this area now. I don't know. That's what I was told. And I see <laughs> Brother Charles also here with him. I also want to thank Charlie Jung for doing the logistic work and for carrying this for us this afternoon, videotaping this session. But good afternoon to everyone. And of course, DJ Floydy. Good afternoon. Very recently, these roads were redone. And when we came to the area looking at the roads, discovered that this street, well, Originally, we thought it had no name. And then we said, perhaps it had a name, and so we don't want to go and reinvent the wheel. So I immediately called Stabby. We did some little research in the area, speaking to several persons about it, people who lived on the street, people who lived close by, people who lived in the area for a very long time. And we also, Stabby, I think, went and got hold of Malaga to do some research to see whether or not the street, in fact, had a name and discovered that the street really never had a name. As a matter of fact, I remember speaking to the Morris's mom when she was here at the time, and she was saying that their males, when they came, said Irish Town Bay Road, 
even though they lived on this street and not on Irish Stone Bay Road proper. So that reinforced for us the fact that the street had no name. And we thought that the street should have a name and the name should reflect the area. And so we then went around doing some more research to find out where who was the best person to name the street after. And really, three names came up. One was Brundle. One was Martin. As P.S. Newton spoke, I now realize what the Martin was all about. I think some of the persons were even saying that the Martin was at some point in time either the teacher or the head teacher at the school. They were, they were connecting the Martin with the school. And the other was Dixit. Right? So those were the names. And so we had these three names. And so we had to go around again to find, well, which of these names do you think best suited? And we got the impression from nearly everyone who we spoke with that as far as they could remember, Brundles were the first to be on the street. They couldn't call. They thought the Brundles were here before all of the others. So it's in that context that we end up with the Brundles carrying the name of the street, and I think deservedly so, based on all we have heard and the history we have heard from Mr. Newton and from all of the people. It went down very well in the community that this was carrying the Brunder name, and everybody spoke about the, the pull pull everywhere. It went. All the people for the pull pull. Some of them didn't even know the name. Some, as um, Mr. Newton was saying, were saying Bruno. That is why at one point I had called to find out how the name was spelled. Because at one point you're getting Bruno, at another time you're getting Brunder. But I was of the view it was Brunder, but I was just making sure. So we are here today to do just that. To, uh, <laughs> to go back into the history and ensure that the area reflects the, the people in the area the people who contributed to the area. And as you can see from the persons who performed, we made sure the Irish Stone Primary School is represented because that's where the school was. And we made sure that the people who were taking part are the people who are connected to the street and the area. As you heard Mr. Newton speaking from his heart and all of the others who came forward. And so I am very happy as the parliamentary representative for the area to be able to be part of this history-making event to name this street after someone who contributed so much to this area and meant so much to the people of the area, a regular person who meant so much to the area. So I'm really very happy that you're able to come out this afternoon to participate in this brief but very important and impressive ceremony. And I'm sure we'll all leave here better able to understand some of the history of the area, and I'm sure we learn quite a lot from all the proceedings that have taken place already. So again, I want to thank all of you for coming out this afternoon. I want to say how very pleased we are with what has taken place, and I want to encourage the people on the street to try and keep the street and the area looking neat and as tidy as it is right now. Again, I want to thank all of those who came out to clean and to lend their support. Thank you so very much, and let's enjoy the rest of the program to come. Thank you.